ladies and gentlemen, as you can see by the title, we got a nice box here. It actually came a day early and I am super hyped. We're not gonna start tearing down the engine probably still for another couple weeks. I just got word back literally last night that my trans is totally toasted. 100% done by the time this video, you're watching this video, the, the video of ShopDap tearing down the trans um, will already be out. So I haven't even seen the video yet. I haven't really seen much but a couple, but the clip they put on, uh, what's it called, TikTok. But he said even my bevel box, he can't even get out because the diff is just destroyed. Like the whole thing is just destroyed. Can't even get the bevel box out. They had to cut holes in the transmission to look at different spots because stuff was just so jammed together. And Anyway. Let's get to the good news. Let's open this box. A little background story here. Got a buddy up in Denver, uh, Justin. He had a Mark 7R with, I think a CTS Boss 600? Something like that. It was one of the Boss kits, I believe. Make a good power DSG car. It looked amazing. I loved when he had the uh, carbon fiber and stuff. I think it was wrapped at one point. Super dope. Anyway, uh, he went up selling the car and uh, getting something else and he had all these internals ready to go to build the motor at one point in time, I guess. And yeah, he got rid of it, so bought it. Box is open, okay, here we go. Oh, we got stuff wrapped in. Ooh, all right. Ferrera valves, yeah, how you like them? Look at that. Nice. Springy boys. He's got like uh, the hardware for him. Mind you guys, I have never built a motor before in my life. So, <laughs> ARP studs, right on. Keep that head bolted down nice and tight. All right. Ooh, what do we got here? This looks like, oh. It says integrated engineering, so I'm assuming these are like, uh, okay. This stuff looks like for the valves. I have no idea. You guys can tell me what these are. I have no idea. Like I said, I've never built a head or a motor before. I'm assuming these are something to do with the rods or, no, this is still top end stuff. It's gotta be for, yeah. All right, on to the next. I'm just excited and I'm just kind of rambling, so excuse me saying dumb stuff. <laughs> this should be rods. Oh boy, look at you. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Some nice, yeah, they're all oily and stuff. Keep it from corroding. Never thought this day would come, guys. We're building the motor, <laughs> all right. And it uh, looks like probably a receipt for things. I expect custom 83 millimeter bore, Tuscan I-beam rods, let's see, Ferrera, valve spring and retainer kit for the 2.0, valve guides, valve stems, seals, that's what these are. These are the stem seals, stem seals, and this is the valve guide. Okay, so there's there's that. And this should just be the last box, I think. Oh no, who's this? Oh, we even threw spark plugs in there. I didn't even know I was getting spark plugs. All right, I probably won't use these. HK0124. Like another, oh, we got a BMP tuning stick. I guess you got it from BMP. All right, and now for, oh boy. So we should have like wrist pin, pins inside sleeves. Okay, so we got our, our wrist pins here for the, the piston. This box is actually pretty nice. Let's take a look at that. It has like the, Neat. All right, let me continue here. This is so exciting. <laughs> so these are on that side, those are on this side. What is in here? Oh, got the ring set. Boom. Oh, you can't even really see anything, but 
all your all the rings. Oh, it's even kind of numbered there. Yeah, it is. That's cool. One, two, three. any of this except for like and we'll see how the pistons are probably in like a bag too through the nature of performance applications parcel or so without any express warranty or any implied warranty whatever oh boy <laughs> look at that dang very nice let's see if I can oh yeah I can actually touch these bad boys Brother, what are we about to do? What are we getting into over here? Yo, dang, that is nice. Look at that. I wanted to like not focus on my ugly face. Why did it go up there? Focus. Anyway, there you go. Oh, they're actually stamped VW Audi in there? Huh. That's neat. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, right in there, it's stamped VW Audi. Nice. Very nice. I'm freaking excited. So. Um, like I said, these are 83 millimeter pistons. Um, stock pistons are 82.5, I believe. Um, let's check interference through piston motion from valves, oil squirt, etc. Before running engine, these components may need adjustment in order to function function in order to function properly. So, wow. Never thought I'd be doing all this. I mean, it was always, it's been a dream to build a motor and this, that, and the third. I'm sure it won't be the last. Uh, the girlfriend, if you guys remember from back in the day when she was on the channel a bunch, um, her E46 M3, we plan on boosting that. And once that motor gets windowed, she wants a 2J swap it. So we'll be definitely be building motors in the future here. And I don't know what I want as a drag car yet. A Supra, a Z06 of some sort, a TTRS, we'll see down the line, but this will be the first one, and I'm excited. I'm gonna keep this car forever and ever and ever. Man, this is so dope. I can't believe it. Oh. I'm gonna just stare at these parts for I don't know how long. I don't know when I'm gonna start the build. I don't wanna be doing too many things at once, and as of right now, like I said earlier in the, earlier here, like I, I don't, I'm gonna have to buy a brand new trans. Then what I can do is I could, I could just buy a trans right now. I could just buy a used trans, and I could toss it on the motor right now and put the motor back in the car and have a jolly old time. But obviously we just bought internals, and with more power comes more responsibility. So we need a trans that's gonna be able to hold more power for sure. And I want dog gears. I want to be able to clutchless, no lift, shift. You know, three, four, five. It's just money, 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 money. I don't know how much it, it costs to get a, a block board out and resurface and then I, 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 I mean, I wouldn't mind doing the head myself, but I also kind of want to get it ported. I don't know if it's worth that. I'm still on the fence with that. Um, but I feel like it'd be better to send this head off and check clearances and, and all that. So I do not want to mess anything up, but I feel like the bottom end is pretty simple especially if the rings are already gapped and the only thing I really got to do is clean up the block really bore and like I said but another thing is with bearings I don't know what bearings to buy I talked to Paul at shop dap I was like yeah I just need maiden rod bearings because I'm gonna take the crank out because I gotta bore the block and I want to put a new what's it called uh, thrush washer on the crank um, We'll just see. We'll see how mine looks. I, I want to replace it anyway because that's like crank walk territory, you know. So I want to get that done, and I feel like assembling the bottom end is pretty freaking simple. There ain't 
really all that much going on. Um, obviously, I'm going to do this supervised. <laughs> Michael, if you're watching. <laughs> um, man. This is like super motivating too. Like I, I really want to just start zipping things off that motor and pulling things apart and learning and inspecting and all that shit. But I want to... The hardware for the rear end will be here Friday. So I want to get the rear end squared away. I need to order my uh, like a home alignment kit. I think it's Nine Lives Racing makes this like kit thing where you can set it up and do your own alignments. Because I'm going to wind up changing my alignment a lot. Like I get, well, have like the initial alignment here in the garage. And then uh, once the car gets, what's it called, corner balanced, I'll be raising and lowering the car, which changes toe. So I'm going to need another alignment. And then once we actually get the car on course and start driving, I'm sure I'm, I'm going to want, you know, with all the bushings being gone back there, I might want more camber than what I've been currently running or less or more toe. You know, there's, we're just going to have to dial the car in. I feel like it's not going to be worth me scheduling a, an alignment every other freaking weekend until the car's dial in. That's like 130 bucks, and they're always busy. And yeah, so I, I feel like learning how to do my own alignments at home is going to be worth it. And I'll be able to do it for other people for money on the side, which I think would be pretty sweet. Because around here, there's only a couple good alignment places, and they're always stacked. And there's always somebody that's like, I need an alignment before I make this thousand mile trip this weekend so my tires don't you know get all worn and I'll be able to do alignment so we'll see I'm over here rambling but once this rear end is situated um, at least like the subframe that portion of it all that um, we'll, we'll start at least tearing down the motor I think and then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about a train I got a buddy over in the UK who used to be stationed here and he said the transmissions over there aren't that expensive and he might be able to pick me one up and ship it back and say if it's, yeah, I think he said they're around $500 over there, but I don't know how much shipping is going to be, but if I could buy like two transmissions and then throw one in the car for now, once the motor's done, that way I don't have to dump another $6,000 into a transmission to get all the gears and supports and bearings and LSD, I, don't, I can have a second trans to either sell, make some money back, or keep that on the side, you know, build that, and then swap that in, and I have another transmission, you know, the transmission I'd be running, I could sell, and make a little bit of money back for um, building the other one, so. Or I could drop some money on some merch, and you guys can eat all that up and help brother out, so <laughs> I guess we'll see um, how this all turns out, but. This video is mostly me talking. Oh man, I gotta pull these rods back out, man. These things are gorgeous. Look at these babies. I'm excited as fuck. So dope. These springs look really cool too. Oh, we really got to play with valve springs before, so this will be interesting. Oh, you guys want to see the rod or the rod bolt, <laughs> the ARP stuff? Let's slice this open real quick. Who knew I could ramble on for so long in one clip? I'm surprised the camera ain't shut off yet. Oh, they got this thing tape shut. Come on, guy. I'm surprised Justin never opened. How did you resist not opening these boxes, dude? <laughs> Nothing too fancy here, and I don't really want to touch anything. They're all like oiled up, real nice. So there's the, the nuts. And we got the. I mean, they're just just some bolts, but I think these are reusable up to 12 times or something like that, and can hold a ridiculous amount of torque. So uh, it'd be really good. And people, if you're wondering why people do this, it's so you strap the head down to the block real tight so that the head doesn't lift under high boost. So. Um, I don't know when I'll be going with the XL housing or if Ed's going to come out with a, another turbo option soon. I mean, if he does, I'll, I'll move to that turbo, but I do eventually plan on going to the XL housing with the built motor. It only makes sense, but uh, I won't, we'll, we'll keep it with the standard housing at first and uh, 
see how she sings. I'm gonna change up intakes, change up intercoolers. Um, I should probably throw a five bar AEM sensor on there. Um, since it'll be a built motor, I'll be able to go over. Well, I mean, I probably could before, but I, I'll be able to bump uh, the boost by three more pounds if I wanted to. And that's like another 30 wheel on pump gas, so at least. Anyway, rambling. I'm gonna go uh, pull off my bumper now and delete the crash bar and watch people bitch about that in the comments. So, <laughs> see you guys on the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching. I am so freaking excited. I hope you guys are too. This shit's gonna be so wild at the end and in, in the end of it all. Like, there's, I still have so like this. These parts getting here is like great. Got this off my list, but my list is still like super long of the bracing i still need the verkline front stuff carbon stuff handbrake cae cae shifter i want the digital dash i want all types of things so plenty more to go this car is going to be redonkulous in the end of it all you guys just stick around find out all right see you guys in the next one thanks for watching uh questions comments concerns drop them all below hit that thumbs up and i'll catch you on the flip flop